Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense. As promised, we did go down a rabbit hole during our last video. This video, we're gonna look at a scan to see what type of results we are getting. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our screener. <clears throat> and I have made videos about all these scans in the past. Um, and what we're gonna do, I have the ELF 2334% scan, which I just created a couple videos ago. Apple $16 scan when it was 16, Apple was $16 pre-split. Uh, 200% uh, growth company, not growth, stock appreciation scan, um, so on and so on. So um, which one should we review? The $16 Apple scan when Apple was around $16, finding companies that could be similar. Uh, should we look at companies like Tesla before Tesla had its multi-thousand percent run? Um, potential 20x stocks like AMD. <clears throat> I think I want to look at the AMD 20x potential here. Um, we have 11 stocks to look at. Um, they're all under $10. Okay, yeah, this they're all under $7. Um... A lot of biotechs. I'm not a huge biotech person, but let's go ahead and run through these potential 20x stocks. Uh, we'll open the first five. Uh, was that four? One, two, three, four, and then number five. Awesome. Okay, so uh, this first one is Adma. Ooh, nice move. It's up 100% in 6 months-ish. Uh ooh, that is a run. It's actually up wow. 5 3 4 500%. It was a dollar 31 back in November of 2021. Strength is there, the momentum is there, the money flow is there, the relative momentum is there. Interesting, they're not profitable, but they make $258 million. Great earnings guidance. The forward price earnings is, is doable. There is debt, uh, but they do have a quick ratio over one that's important. Gross margin, 34%. That's really good. <clears throat> Ooh, a lot of shares float for the sales. So let's go ahead and uh, just crunch the numbers on this. They have 1 billion 510 million in market cap, good for them. They are losing 28 million at 240,000, but they also make 258 million 210,000 in sales. All right, let's look at the cash and the debt. Actually, before I do that. Wow, look at this ramp up. Look at this turnaround. Man, Big dilution here. 2019, there's 59 million shares float. 2023, there's 226 million. The supply has been replenished. Um, okay, let's look at their balance sheet and let's look at their cash as of latest filings. They have plus 51,350,000. Total debt is 140,370,000. Uh, total assets 329 million total liabilities 193 million so not quite a two to one um that situation is getting better that's good okay all right and we're gonna take this divided by 219 million seven hundred ten thousand eighteen dollar stock yeah that's pretty big. $18 stock, potentially. Has it ever been to $18? Does not look like it. What is big money doing with this one, ADMA? Institutions own 84%. Look at the chart here. The new data says 84, old data says 74, so about a 10% change. That's pretty good. Um, 
The month of March just ended, so the next candle, I mean, if it clears 690, I mean, it's got some other resistance, but then after $14, it could really move. So um, it's not a low float stock. It takes quite a bit of money to move this one, but that volume was 5 million shares. So yeah, um, I'm going to have to pass. I'm not a huge biotech person. Um, they are not profitable. Um, and the dilution is just kind of crazy here. It could be a good swing like for a few weeks, but in terms of like long, long term, I don't, I could see this making a nice move and then retracting down and then becoming healthy. So I'm going to pass on this one. Let me know your thoughts. Another biotech, Coherus Biosciences. Wow. Okay. Um, this is why I'm not a big biotech person too. They make 257 million in sales, but they're losing 237 million. That's quite, quite rough. Oh, that's rough sales going down. EPS kind of coming back. What's the big money doing for CHRS? So institutions own 76% as of older data. Um, New data, 81%, 76 to 81, so about a 5% differential. Wow, 70 million shares in 2019, now 112 million in 2023. Looks like a lot was added back in 2023. This has just been going down and down. Um, uh, yeah, this is, this has yet to have like a positive long-term reversal. I'm going to have to pass on this one only for the mere fact they're, they're barely surviving. They make 257 mil, but they're losing 237 mil. So that's a pass for me. Uh, oof, big gap down from $16 to $3. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. 83. Wow. So sales going down, EPS ugly. They make 147 million, but they're losing 284. You know what that means? We're going to pass. All right. Please be profitable. Please be profitable. Oh, look at this nice turnaround down here. This is a good, long, consolidated reversal. Just kind of like what we had here. But I mean, it's not, it's different magnitudes. But you could see that it's been a long reversal. Nice big volume candles here. RSI is getting stronger. Momentum heading up. Money flows up. Relative momentum is curling up. They're not profitable. Um, let's see. They did a really good year in 2019. Then they fell plateaued and then they've turned the ship around diluting eps turning around this should be under a dollar <laughs> um what's insiders doing the director bought three million dollars worth at a dollar 37 craig the ceo purchased one hundred thirty-seven thousand dollars worth um is there I wonder if they're um, getting closer to profitability. They are. <clears throat> they are. So in 2022, they were at negative 19 mil. 2020, end of 2023, negative 10 mil. End of 2024, I'm going to guess negative 1 mil. They're, lo they're taking 9 million chunks. So I think at the end of 2024, this could look really good. But this has already started to reverse, so I think we might peak in 2024. Uh, <clears throat> what are institutions doing? Maybe that'll help make this easier, HRTX. Uh, institutions own 71% as of now. New data, 78, 7% increase, nothing life-changing, not bad. I'm guessing Vanguard, BlackRock, 
Baker Bros reduced, Deep Track sold out, Great Point sold out, Vanguard increased, Franklin decreased, JP Morgan decreased significantly, BlackRock decreased, Rubric Management increased. So, little mix there. Um, oh, this is rough. They make 127 mil, they lose 110 mil. So that brings them to positive 17 mil. And if we look at cash, 97 mil minus 100. Yeah, so this one doesn't even make sense to even think about owning. Although momentum suggests this could be good. So let me know if you uh, like this one. Please be profitable. No, oh God. They make $1 million, but they lose $175 million. That is just ugly. It's a momentum. I mean, nice little cup and handle. It's, it's momentum. You really can't stop it. That's why you could have the best, the best chart in the world, but if it's momentum going down, you can't fight it. You could have the best numbers in the world, and the stock would still go down. We've seen a few in my past few videos where these numbers are really good, but the momentum's bringing it down. Uh, one in particular was INMD. Uh, so we're gonna have to pass just off the mere principle. You can't, nobody can survive making $1 million a year losing 175. So passing on LXRX, we've got those biotechs out of the way. Now we're moving on to the next five. Matterport, 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 Matterport. I think AMD was profitable when I did this. Let's see. No, I don't think AMD was profitable. But it, there hasn't been anything attractive. Okay. Wow, huge move up. This is great. This is great. This is horrible. This is okay. But again, they make 157 million and they lose 199 million. And they have a crap ton of shares float. Oh my God. This is very speculative to say the least. Oh, and insiders are selling. Great, great, great. Perfect. Exactly what you want to see on a <laughs> speculative play. Um, I mean, it's trading like the company's never going to exist again, which is... I don't think that's the case. I mean, I like it. It's uh, the firm products include 3D content platform, Pro 2, 3D camera, 360 camera, virtual reality, and mobile apps. I like it. Uh, let's see. Let's see if they're getting closer to profitability. Yes, they are very, 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 very slowly. Oh, God, it's going to take a while. Um, total revenue is also flat over the past year. Man, ah, oh, man, I don't know. Like they, they had earnings on February 20th. Let's see if they beat it. Strong recurring revenue growth moves closer to profitability. Man, I don't know if this one's the business yet. I mean, just off the sheer principle, you're losing more than you're making. So we'll pass, although I do like this company five plus years down the road, maybe. Payo, software infrastructure, what's it all about? Ooh, look at this beautiful candle right here. So we've had higher lows. This low was lower than this one, and this low was lower than that one and that one. So higher lows, and then the highs are also lower. So it's uh, kind of coming to like a breaking point. Uh, okay, these guys are profitable. They just looks 
that's this is great okay this is a four dollar stock okay 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 what kind of software do they do uh fintech company financial platform okay we are gonna we found one we found one we found one okay let's uh let's run the numbers on this They have a one billion seven hundred ninety million market cap. Good for them. Plus, they make ninety three million three hundred thirty thousand in income. That's beautiful. Plus, they make eight hundred thirty one million one hundred thousand in sales. That's absurd. They're gonna make a billion dollars soon. Very low debt, and they're paying it off. Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh yeah, very nice gross profits. Nice. This looks good. Cash, wow, that's a lot of cash. Plus 624 million, 50,000. Total long-term debt is only 36 million, 250,000. Wow, okay, total assets is 7.2 billion, total liability 6.6 .6 billion. That's cutting it really close for me. Big liabilities. These other current liabilities, this is where you got to go and read the 10K and see what the heck is going on. Look, it's just piling up. So <clears throat> that's something to keep your eye on if you are interested in this one. Um, going back up here, taking this divided by 259 million, 870,000. $12 stock trading at 486. Analysts have this at 672. Uh, Goldman has this at 1250. Is that right where mine is? Mine's 1270. Cantor Fitzgerald 13. So pretty dang close. Uh, what are institutions doing for payo? Payo for payo. Uh, institutions on 64%, and that is the old data. New data. 88 that's a 24 percent increase i believe what was it 64 to 48 yeah 24 percent increase that's huge i'm gonna guess vanguard and blackrock vanguard and blackrock vanguard owns a ton 28 million shares blackrock 34 million shares t row price sold out of their position wow Dude, okay, let's see. I don't want vertical, I want horizontal. The stock price has never closed below 395. And we're at 486. I feel like the risk to reward is high here because if it does fall below or 395, that's about a 25% loss versus I think the next test of support is going to be 629. Let's just diddle some lines here. Like the very, so what I did, I took the highest point of the candle on the chart to the next highest point of the candle on the downtrend, which is right here. So the next real resistance, which will be, it starts in April. It's gonna be $5.12, $5.12. It needs to break and hold $5.12 to keep going up. So let's, bring out this that was the lowest of the low okay these are the fibonacci um it's not sequence is it retracements fibonacci retracements so look how well these retracements respect the candles respect the retracements right here acts as resistance so support resistance 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 comes down the next line access support candle tests resistance here this next line the 38.2 support support falls through then you go down here to the next one you can see the lowest candle touches these act as support so if i'm very i feel very comfortable with these fibonacci retracements um very very you don't normally see it this smooth and accurate i'm uh, just going to do a couple more lines Yeah, exactly. See this? 
So 512 it needs to hold or 479. So that is what I call the apex. This is a perfect example of the apex where it's gotta make a decision up or down. So 512 is gonna be the first resistance and then $6.02. I like this one, they are profitable. I just wanna check their profitability pattern real quick. So on Eticom, oh yeah, they've been profitable for about a year-ish. Okay, institutions added 22%, 24% extra on top. So I feel comfortable dollar cost averaging into this one. If I have $100, I would probably add $10 a week for the next 10 weeks. Just so 10% incremental purchase to get the best price. So I do like this one. Um, I'm going to note it down. This is a good one. Uh, does it have the potential to get AMD size? That's to be determined, honestly. AMD was $2 at one point. Uh, Payo, I don't know who their customers are. Let's see. Wow, this reminds me of uh, 20, 2018 Digital Turbine. Ticker symbol apps. Um, okay, show us your cool big customers. Our customers probably like some crazy big one. I'm guessing my internet's slow. If you cannot tell, I don't know what's going on. Um, I guess their customers are just gonna have to be to be determined. I want to see their customers, but at the same time, it's really eating into this video. Uh, we'll let it. We'll let it load. Actually, let's just let it load in the background. Payo, that's the best one we've seen so far. The real, real. This could be a big one. Oh my God! It's moved so much. It didn't wait for me. Oh my lord! Did it get bought out? No. Uh, this is decent. This is good. Turning it around. Ooh, huge. They make 500 million, but they're losing 168 million. Let's see. They're not profitable. Let's see if they're getting better. Uh, they're going the wrong. I mean, they. Yes, no, maybe so. Um, I think there's time to wait on this one, but I think this company could be really big in the future. Um, still no customers. Huge move. Yeah, this will be a good fun one to trade, but I don't, I mean, it's up over a hundred plus percent in a couple months. So we're going to pass, but when would I want to buy this one? I mean, it's really ripping hot right now. So That's tough. What are their sales? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. This one's tough. Chair, they're diluting it's a little bit, but yeah, this is tough. We'll pass, but I suggest you run, do the calculation that I do, see what number you come up with. This will bring you around 300. Let's see what their assets and liabilities are and the debt. Um, okay, total assets 446 million, total liabilities 750 million. Oh my gosh, you know what that means? I'm not gonna say it, but do you know what happens when liabilities exceed assets? I'm not gonna say anything, we're just gonna move on. Who's their customers? All right, Payo. Hey, yo, for Payo, this website is slow, yo. It's my computer, maybe. Okay, uh, real, you're gone. Payo, let's see. I 
I don't, it doesn't want to load, okay. Let's now look at Sandstrom Gold. Gold has been hot. Okay, this company, look at this nice ramp up. EPS positive, ah, they're dumping shares. I don't like this, I don't like this. Oh, just looking at this one at a high level, I think this is gonna be way overvalued. Let's run the numbers on it. Okay, they have a 1,560,000,000 market cap. They do make $41,720,000 income, good for them. Plus they do 179,640,000 in sales. All right, it's not bad. Um, let's look at the cash. All right. Plus, oh, we want the quarterly. Okay. So plus thirty-three million four hundred thousand minus the debt, which is four hundred fifty-two million. That's a lot. Four hundred fifty-two million two hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Um, total assets one point nine billion. Total liabilities four hundred seventy-seven. That's almost a four-to-one assets to liabilities ratio. That's beautiful. Uh, total debt. It's getting better, honestly. From the end of 2022, they went from 526, 499, 476, 468, 457, 452. So slowly paying off the debt, it looks like. Uh, we're going to take this and divide it by 246,250,000. $5.53 stock trading at $5.25. Yeah, that's not much premium. I mean, gold is really in a cycle right now. It's in a strong cycle. I mean, this is kind of like a bull flag here. Relative momentum still coming around the mountain. RSI is getting stronger. We could see this move. We could see this move. Um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Canadian gold company. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big precious metals person unless it's physical. And even then I don't have like gold bars or silver bars or anything, but I think there are better gold stocks out there. Um, nothing is really compelling me to be like, this is amazing. Uh, let's see what institutions are doing with this one. Uh, institutions own 48% of, that's old data. New data says they actually own 69%. That's a almost 20% increase. Huge holdings here. That's you can't argue with that. Um, yeah, I they offer a dividend. Why, 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 why? You know what? Gold's in a cycle. If you would have bought this back in 2011, you'd probably be upset because it's around the same price. If you would have bought this in 2016, you'd be happy. If you would have bought this in 2020, at some point, you'd probably be pretty upset again. Do at your own risk. I'm not going to buy this one, but this is a decent gold stock, gold company. Let's see who the customers are. Freelancers. Okay. Businesses. All right. Pioneer. That was not worth waiting for. Let's see what skin, skin tight, skin tape. Beauty health company. Ooh, nice little curl reversal here. They make 397, but they lose 102 million. These can't argue with this. This is wishy washy. Do you see that? What the absolute organic purchasing? They diluted a lot from 2020 to 2021. It's being naturally accumulated. I like this. Don't tell anybody, but I like this. I like this. Okay, let's uh, let's negative one hundred one. Is is that improving or is that just a one off? Uh, a 
looks like one-offs because 2019, they were almost profitable. 2020, they were negative 29 mil. 2021, negative 370. 2022, they were profitable. 2023, not profitable. But look at the pattern. 2020 went from negative 29. 2022 went from a positive 44.22. So that's a huge turnaround. Then it went from negative 375 to only negative 100. That's a two, negative 275 turnaround. Thinking uh, out loud and also thinking in the future, I think 2024 through 25 is this year is going to be a little tumultuous. 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 I don't know. A little rocky. But I think 2025 and beyond, I think this is a solid, solid company. Possibly, based if history is any indicator of uh, performance, it's not. So don't don't listen to what I'm saying. Um, okay, so let's let's do my calculations because I'm actually excited for this one. Okay, so they make 397 million 970,000. 397, 970, yes. They lose 102 million, 140,000. All right. Okay. Um, cash, how much cash they got? 523 million. This is US dollars. Oh, look at these buys. These are some good buys. The CEO, barely nothing, but these are some good. And all of these buys are underwater right now. So buying in the fours is lucky hashtag lucky <laughs> i don't normally talk like that okay so they have 523 million 20 000 cash great they are losing or i'm sorry they do have debt of minus 747 million 690 000. okay total assets 929 mil total liabilities 869 that's dangerously close dangerously close dangerously close dangerously close okay Use some of that cash. Pay off this debt. What are they doing? Um, total assets going down. Cash about flat. I'm trying to find a pattern here. Um, yeah, their quick ratio is insane. So back to the calculations. Sorry. This... Ooh, this puts them underwater, right? Minus, I'm sorry, divided by 80,290,000. Less than a dollar stock. 88 cent stock. That's what this should be. And I think that's in part because they freaking diluted in 2021. Man, if I take the 71,160,000, Divided by the three thirty-five million five hundred thousand, we're looking at two dollar stock. So not bad. Possibly could go lower. Um, but this looks like a nice bottoming area. Let's see what institutions are doing. Let's see what they're doing. Uh, institutions own sixty-nine percent giggity. Uh, new data shows 83%, 14% increase. Not bad. You can see that little divot there. Let's see. Uh, BlackRock decreased. FMR increased. Senvest sold out. Janus decreased. Luxor increased. LCP Edge, no change. Okay, interesting. Um, these sales, this ramp speaks for itself. They had earnings on March 12th. Let's see what they did. Uh, mix 2023 amidst global expansion. Okay, I'm fine with that because they have 520 mil in cash. I can see why now they're not paying down the debt aggressively because they're expanding. I like that, that makes sense. That adds the potential for more revenue. Does that on the debt, but I think it puts them in a better position long term. I like this one. 
I'm not going to be buying it tomorrow. Um, but it's a good one to watch, honestly. And let's just take a look at the different time frame real quick. Um, so really... Good support there, I guess. Yeah, this really confirms. This candle confirms. It just tests it and falls down. Okay, um, and then taking the highest candle. Okay, so it it, it is on its way for a a move. It looks like honestly. Yeah, you know what? I could see myself owning some of this probably this week. I don't know. Just for a temporary swing. I'll watch this one. I might get into this one. Okay, uh, and that leaves us with Tasha. This is the last one. Get out of skin. Tasha, be good, be good, be good. Be a good company, be a good company. Tasha Gene Therapies. This is biotech? Yeah biotech Ooh, nice gap up very cool be profitable oh man i was rooting for this they make 15 million but they lose 111 million that's obvious no very nice here though turn around very nice here oh my gosh look at that dilution uh i just want to see if they're making Net income, nope, never profitable. They have $15 million this year. I don't know if that's from a donation, but doesn't look doesn't look too good. We're gonna pass on Tasha. Let's just look at the bigger picture to see if it's fallen from like 100. It's, it was at 35. Damn, went from all the way to 65 cents, then it jumped to 325. Crazy. Okay. Uh, that wraps up this video. If you guys like this content, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions or stocks you want me to look into. Have a great week. Talk to you soon.